Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, today I'm actually really, really excited. We are going to be going out and looking for venomous reptiles. And of course, that is everybody's favorite, or at least everybody's favorite to watch. And the reason I am so excited for tonight is because we are actually gonna be looking for sidewinders. The sidewinder. Those, those are, those are cool snakes, I'm telling you. We are gonna be going out tonight, but of course, we're not gonna be out there till it's dark. And one thing I wanna share with you real quick, <laughs> I want to share with you this right here. This is a light panel, um, thanks to Jeff. We have this, um, which is gonna be very helpful with nighttime videos. It's gonna light it up a lot better. I don't know if you saw our previous videos where we saw, I think it was like 15 rattlesnakes in one night. Go check that out. But the one thing I did not like about it is the lighting because it was flashlights and it was all wonky and weird and I didn't really like it much. So we now have this light panel which is gonna make the videos all the better. So uh, yeah, I have to wait like another hour, hour and a half before it's dark, but for you this is gonna be a second, so. It is dark. We have arrived to our destination and I now have my bro with me, even though he's blurry, but he's still my bro. So we're gonna go out and we're gonna try to find some sidewinders. Hopefully we'll see some stuff. We're just on the side of the road right now. But let's get out there and see what we can find. And not to... I just heard somebody. Somebody was like giving me crap because I'm taking video. It's for what? you. They just said, hey! No, they said Berkeley! For real? Not kidding, they said Berkeley. I probably just do this enough that they're probably like, oh yeah, there's no one else out there doing that. All right, Sam is now crossing the deadly barbed wire fence. Oh dude, you're blinding everybody. <laughs> it's pretty typical to be walking along here and look in the soft sand and see sidewinder tracks coming through here and it's actually quite irritating when you're walking and you're like, oh look, sidewinder tracks going over my footprint. Wow, look at this. It's a little bridge here. I think it'll hold my weight. Yeah, I'm not too confident in that. Sam, come cross this bridge. Hey look, another bridge. This one looks a lot safer, doesn't it? All right, so basically the snakes are out sitting in the bases of bushes this time of night. So we're basically just kind of scanning the area, looking for what we can find. Yeah, so we're basically just kind of shining lights, looking in the bushes, not tripping like Sam just did. All right, Sam. Right behind me, I have your lifer sidewinder. Let's get your reaction, get in front of me. See if you can spot him, get in front of me. He's far, he's far up there. Oh, I see him. Where? I think. No, he's far up here, way up here. Check this out. Right here, sticking his head up, is what we came all the way out here for. The sidewinder, look at that snake. He is sitting in his typical oh. S pose. Look at that snake right there. That right there is the sidewinder, your life or sidewinder, Nine man. Nine minutes in, too. Nine minutes into walking, and we already got our sidewinder. Look at that. Look at how precious that snake is, guys. There you go. We are only nine minutes into our excursion here, and right next to me, right here, which we're gonna get a lot closer up to the cameras, is the sidewinder. Heck yes, dude. Isn't that cool? I mean, that was freaking fast. It was freaking crazy, dude. That was so fast. I saw it from so far away, dude. I know. I saw him cruising along. I'm like, like dude. Dang, dude, that's awesome. Another sidewinder. I absolutely love these guys. I'm sure you guys are probably done seeing my face. So let's get up close to the sidewinder. He has not moved, has not rattled. As you can see, he's gonna be doing his little sideways motion. Look at that snake. This is actually an adult sidewinder. They don't get too much bigger than this. This is the typical size for uh, one of these snakes, but what a rat snake. He doesn't move like any other snake. See how he's moving sideways like that? Very, very cool. Hey, oh. get, get. Ah! Okay, there we go. It's okay, guys. Sometimes we just fail. <laughs> Life is hard. Life is hard. <laughs> All right, guys. Right under this hat is the Sidewinder. This is one of my absolute favorite snakes here in Arizona. And the main reason for that is those horns that you can see right here on the head of this snake. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. Thankfully to this hook here, we were able to safely transport him into the sandy wash 
where they regularly hang out and we were able to get a closer look at the snake. So one of my favorite things about this snake is that they actually move sideways, hence the name Sidewinder. What's really, really cool about these guys is they'll actually bury themselves partially in the sand to where the, just the top part of their body will be sticking out of the sand and they'll just be waiting for prey to come by and whap, whap. Wap wap. <laughs> wap wap wap. Man, I got I gotta say, I just love everything about these snakes. The size, they don't get too much bigger than this, and they have very keeled scales. And what they do to actually bury themselves in the sand, which I wish I can show you, but they don't do it on command. Um, they'll actually get in the sand and they'll shimmy their scales like so, and they'll actually slowly and surely bury themselves into where their head's just poking out and they're able to strike any uh, potential prey that walks by. As you can see here, when you get close, you can see sidewinders are rattlesnakes. They are a part of the Crotalus family. This is Crotalus cerastes, and they are highly venomous. So if you get bit by one of these snakes, you definitely want to seek medical attention. They don't always resort to biting, so when you're walking past, they'll actually buzz that tail, warning off predators before they actually get to the point of striking or biting any potential predator. Their eyes are actually vertical pupils. They almost look like cat eyes. That's actually another way you can actually tell the difference between a venomous and a non-venomous snake, but it's not always accurate because mildly venomous snakes that can't harm you a lot of times will actually have vertical pupils and coral snakes do not have vertical pupils. So it's 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 kind of a toss-up, but 90% of the time most venomous snakes have vertical pupils. Well, I absolutely love these guys. Can't get enough of them. And it was actually Sam's lifer and thank him again for holding this light. He's standing there very quietly while all the bugs are actually circling his face. I like looked up and I could actually see the lights. <laughs> I told him not to move. And I just sitting there seeing his eyes like. I had the camera. See, I'm gonna see if I can actually get him to go across the camera screen doing that sideways motion. There you go. Look at that, isn't that cool? Sideways motion, and that is exactly why they're called the sidewinders. They should be called the dip winders because he's just dipping out here. <laughs> Are you ready, guys? I'm gonna do sideways motion. Are you ready? Ready? Watch, it's gonna be awesome. Welcoming the sidewinder. That was stupid. <laughs> yeah, it was. Introducing the sidewinder. He just stopped. He just like. All right, there's Sam striking a fantastic pose. Those arms, that. though. I mean, those <laughs> arms. I mean, those horns, though. <laughs> Look how pretty that thing is. And ow, something's biting me. <laughs> ow! What the heck? It sucks. Ow! <laughs> ow! Get it off! <laughs> Oh look! Oh. Wait, 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 wait! Oh, <laughs> it was an ant. Let's see. It's still alive. Okay. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> that actually freaking hurt. I think my. <laughs> I'm tired of Peterson status. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait! I need you to do something real quick. What? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, are you okay? Sting. Are you okay, bro? It's an ant. Oh, it's really throbbing. Ah! John, I can't move my arm! Ah! 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 I'm okay. <laughs> okay, bro. <laughs> Do you. Alright, guys, there we go. That is the Sidewinder. What a cool snake. We're gonna let this guy go back to the somewhere here. This is about where he was right here, so we're just gonna. Let him seek some cover here. There you go. It's getting a little bit chilly out here, but there he goes. Sidewinder curling up in the bush. See you later, buddy. So cool. Sam's lifer makes it all the better. Sweet. Well, guys, let me know what you thought of the short little video talking about one kind of species going out finding one species and calling it good you know like a little quick clip on a certain animal that's out here in the Arizona desert let me know what you think of those videos and of course we're kind of more of vlogging our trips and seeing what kind of stuff we can find <laughs>
are you doing? <laughs> are you like, so just let me know what you think of those uh, little catch it clips, you know, kind of going out and seeing, uh, targeting a certain kind of species and getting it up close to the camera. So, yeah, let me know what you think. And back to the car. Huh? Yeah, just walk home. All right, Sam, I get, uh, whatever you say, man. I can barely see your little head. <laughs>